There are good documentaries, but then there are documentaries that simply change your life. And those are exactly the documentaries that I want to be talking about in this video. I want to share with you five documentaries that I believe can change the way you see the world. In my opinion, those are the best five documentaries of all times and you are clearly missing out if you haven't seen them all. So let's jump right into it, shall we? The first documentary is Searching for Sugar Man. This is a truly insane story, something that shouldn't be possible to happen and likely will never happen again. It is the story of an American musician from the 70s called Rodriguez who was searching fame and even recorded an album back then but never really amounted to anything. Nobody bought his album and even though people thought that the songs on it were quite good, it never really had any commercial success. After this disappointment, Rodriguez gave up on music and sort of disappeared. Nobody really knew where he was anymore. Meanwhile though, and without his knowing, one of his albums made it to South Africa and over there slowly started becoming popular. The album was copied more and more, people started buying it all across South Africa under the impression that Rodriguez must be a huge star over in the US. During the apartheid and the resistance against it, Rodriguez songs became the soundtrack of those times. Meanwhile in the US, no one, least of all Rodriguez, Rodriguez himself knew about his popularity over in South Africa. Now clearly I'm not gonna give away the ending here of this documentary but I can guarantee you there are some twists and turns in this story that are truly unbelievable. Searching for Sugar Man won an Oscar back in 2012 and rightfully so. This is a must see movie for any documentary lover, any music lover and anyone who loves a happy end. The second movie on our list of best documentaries of all time is called Icarus. Icarus is yet another story that is almost too unbelievable to be true. It starts very innocent though. Brian Fogel, a director and maker of this documentary himself, wants to document how he does a self experiment regarding doping. He's an amateur cyclist but wants to try professional doping under medical supervision to find out how far this can push his body to perform better. To get expert advice during this whole experiment, he reaches out to a guy called Grigory Rodchenkov. Grigory Rodchenkov was the head of the anti-doping agency of Russia, which coincidentally was hosting the Winter Olympic Games back then. And that is exactly when a story starts unraveling that is much bigger than Brian Fogel's initial idea of doing a simple self-experiment. Because this very Grigory Rodchenkov starts opening up to Brian Fogel over the course of the documentary and starts sharing with him insider information that Russia has been systematically doping its athletes during these Winter Olympics back in 2018. Very quickly the situation starts escalating to a point where Gregory has to escape Russia because he fears for his life. Again I don't want to share how it all ends but this much I can tell you it is an absolutely thrilling documentary and it won the Oscars back in 2018. Next up on our list of best documentaries of all times we have documentary number three called Citizen 4. And yes, that documentary is yet another roller coaster of emotions. I guess that says something about the documentaries that I like, but honestly I also believe that that's just what makes any documentary great. Citizen 4 of course tells the story of Edward Snowden, maybe the most popular whistleblower in history. Nowadays he is well known all around the world, but back when the documentary was made, no one had ever heard of him. Because amazingly the documentary starts in the hotel room that Edward Snowden was hiding in in Hong Kong before he even released all the NSA information that he had. In fact most of that documentary takes place in that very hotel room. But still the story itself has so much excitement in it, so much pressure and so much stress that you're constantly at the edge of your seat. And to be able to witness how Edward Snowden made the conscious decision to give up a comfortable life, a well-paid job and a happy family only for the sake of truth is truly mesmerizing. He knew that he would most likely not be able to ever return to his home country, the United States. He knew that intelligence services as well as politicians will chase him, trying to capture him and possibly even kill him. 
And yet he decided to do what he thought was right in this very situation. And if you feel like you want to get a more in-depth look into his mind and his reasoning, then Citizen 4 is the perfect documentary for you. And if you like this video so far and you feel like you want to get more videos like this one in the future, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and you'll be constantly updated whenever I post something new here. We are moving on to documentary number four on our list of best documentaries of all times. And this one is called Free Solo. Alex Honnold, the protagonist of this documentary, has become a little bit of a celebrity since its release because what he accomplished in this movie is almost impossible to wrap your head around. People who watch the documentary tend to talk about how sweaty their palms got, how nervous they got just by watching what he did and many call what he has accomplished the greatest feature of humanity in terms of sport ever. Okay, so what is it that Alex Honnold did? Well, he climbed a rock formation in Yosemite National Park called El Capitan. And he did so entirely without ropes. He is the first and only person to ever have done that. Alex does what is referred to as free soloing, which means climbing entirely without rope or any other security, meaning that if you make a mistake and you fall down, you are most likely dead. The documentary follows Alex's preparation for this monumental undertaking. Beyond that, it also gives a unique insight into the mind of someone who is willing to risk his life for something like this. Why does he do it? What does he get out of it? And couldn't he just do the whole thing with a rope? Obviously, the movie is a must watch for any climber out there, any adrenaline junkie and any outdoorsy person. But I think a lot of other people will also get a kick out of it. In my opinion, it has become more and more rare that you see people do truly unique things. But this is one of them. Humanity might never see something like this accomplished ever again. And it is just incredibly lucky that we have it all on film, ready to be watched and rewatched again and again. Free Solo is yet another documentary on this list that has won an Oscar back in 2019. And if you haven't watched it already, I highly recommend that you do so. Last but not least, we have documentary number five on our list called Jiro Dreams of Sushi. Jiro is a Japanese sushi master and the documentary follows him through his work and his life. Now, why would anyone be interested in watching an old Japanese guy make sushi? Well, because Jiro is one of the best in the world to do it and he truly embodies what we call mastery. Everything about his personality, his work, work process and his drive to continuously improve himself shows what is needed to become the very best at anything. And clearly Jiro does not do it for the fame or the money. Even though people like Barack Obama have already eaten at his restaurant and the reservation time for getting a table is usually several months, he refuses to expand his restaurant. Instead it is located in a small subway station in Tokyo and only has 10 seats. So instead of seeking commercial success, Jiro is much more interested in pursuing mastery itself. He breaks down every small single step of what it takes to make exceptionally great sushi and then tries to refine those steps. I think in a fast-paced world like our own that is only driven by instant gratification and immediate success, this movie and this guy, Jiro, is a nice refreshing reminder that it takes years of dedication to actually become good at something. And you don't have to be a sushi lover to appreciate this documentary. Instead, you have to see it more as a metaphor for really anything in life that you're trying to accomplish. I hope that with those five documentaries that I have shared with you in this video, you will have a little bit of inspiration on which documentary to watch next. I'm pretty sure each and every one of them will satisfy your needs for truly great documentaries. Let me know down in the description below which one is your favorite and I will see you in the next video.